Welcome back to Curry Containment Crochet with our special guest, Mr. Alex. So, now we're actually going to start crocheting. First thing we're going to need to do is make a slip stitch. Now, there are some beginnings that start a little different, but this is going to be your main beginning um, for road back and forth. So, we have our tail, and this end that is attached to the ball of yarn, the skein of yarn, is our working end. So anything that's not the tail is the working end. What we're going to do is we're going to take two fingers, and we're going to wrap. You hold on with your thumb to the tail, wrap it around, make an X. And on the back, you should have two lines. So... You have your X on your fingertips, palm fingertips, and you have two lines on the back. Now what you're going to do is, sorry, what you're going to do, there we go, is you're going to stick your crochet hook under line one and yarn over line two, then pull through. Now you're going to hold on to both the tail and the working end. And there you go. You have your slip stitch. Why is it called a slip stitch? Because it slips around and you can change how big you have it. La 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 la. All that good stuff. Now I'm going to show you that one more time. So you have your tail on the fingerprints of your finger. Then you cross over, flip over. So now you have two, and you still have that X. You're going to go under, yarn over, and pull through, like so. So that is the slip stitch.